An organization known as Survival International has launched a campaign criticizing conservation efforts in the U.S. and abroad. On the surface, this sounds extremely regressive. But the campaign, dubbed Stop, Stop the Con, makes the case that conservation efforts like national parks and nature reserves are often built on the violent displacement of indigenous communities that called those spaces their homes. Take Yosemite, for example. In 1851, California soldiers came across the land that is now a famed tourist destination and kicked out the Awanichi tribe. The displacement that wrapped up as recently as 1969 erased the history of indigenous people in that region and whitewashed the idea of conservation. Writing about the campaign in the Huffington Post the week that the National Park Service turned 99 years old is my guest, Julian Brave Noisecat. He is the Native Issues Fellow at the Huffington Post and a member of the Canine Lake Band to question in uh, British Columbia, where he was nominated to run for chief in 2014. He recently wrote the piece, The Forgotten History of Violent Displacement that helped create the national parks. Welcome to Uprising, Julian. Thanks so much for having me. And I'm so sorry I mispronounced that word. Can you say it for me on the air so everyone can hear? Uh, it's Sikaskan. Thank you very much. Okay, so how did the Stop the Con campaign begin? A woman named Tessia Bobricki carried out a major stunt at Yosemite and videotaped herself doing it. What is her motivation? So the Stop the Con campaign began two weeks ago when, as you said, Tasia Bobricki, an environmental activist from California, scaled El Capitan in Yosemite National Park and dangled from a rope 3,000 feet above the valley floor. Um, you can watch a video of the stunt in my article, and the clip can also be found on YouTube. Um, her motivation was to expose uh, the quote-unquote con of conservation, that is the violent displacement of indigenous peoples in the name of conservation. Hmm.